Open fire, please. Thank you very much. What's happening, Turbase Gamers? My name is Luda Mail. Welcome back to the revolution. When we left off, we ran into some dark times. Boston got taken, and now Full Mouse is under siege. We had some really hard times there. But on a more positive note, we did take Florida, and we have Savannah under siege right now, and we're gonna take it. And we're not giving up the North without a fight. Right now, however, our focus is entirely on getting Savannah, so that way we can get some momentum back in our favor. Actually, we don't need that one. We can and use the troops for that. That's better. Because we have two cavalry. And what I'm planning on doing in this episode is while they're trying to hold the north, we're going to use Washington and this army here, and we're going to just carve up the south. Hopefully we can take as much land as we can and before the British start sending reinforcements down south to try and stop us. So I've come up with a plan. It's a risky one, but we're going to implement it. What I am planning on doing is that we are going to actually line the troops up over here. That way, we won't be able, uh, the British won't be able to get the artillery involved because they are sitting behind this barrier here. They cannot move for the entire battle, which means they won't be able to rotate the cannons around to get within range of us. But we'll be able to move our cannon to fire on them. So then. That takes them out of the fight. We're also going to have the cavalry here providing a screen as they move over so that if the cavalry he tries a surprise attack, our cavalry can come around and intercept. And they did exactly what I thought they would do. The provincial cavalry is coming to play. We'll just leave them up with a nice set of dragoons. Actually, these guys can come around then. I know we're going to suffer some casualties from the Dragoons, but that's okay. Sacrifices are a necessary thing. Alright, come on now. Now come from the back. Perfect. And now they're trying to run away. Come on now. There we go. Perfection. Exactly how I thought they would act. I knew they were going to try and harass the infantry. And I think we'll be safe enough to dismount the Dragoons again. So we'll get them over here. Same with this one. Over there. This one. will line up over here. Unless the other provincial wants to try and come and play again. And it looks like they're just as content with just sitting there. Which is fine. So these guys are now in position. Let's go ahead, get them a little bit closer so they can fire over our troops, hopefully. Let's see. And they are in range. And they will not hit our troops. That is great. Oh, they hit a, hit a howitzer. But that's not my a priority right now. My priority is actually their cavalry. So that we will be able to run all over them without them having to worry about intercepting us. And once these guys have beaten down enough, we'll focus the, uh, change the focus to the infantry here. Hopefully we'll be able to get them to charge at us. Because we have all the time in the world, so there's no rush on this. And, and since they can't fire back at us, this, again, we can just pound them all we want. After watching the British get bombardment for 20 minutes, they are still not moving. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to move just a little bit closer. Something like here. Yeah, that should still be safe. And hopefully that will get them to want to try and charge at us. On the bright side though, with that massive bombardment, we've effectively wiped out two units of armed citizens. And we even did a bit of damage to that cavalry as well. Oh, ah, bollocks. Damn it. We got caught off guard. All right. So now, well, we got a, a primary focus now. So we got to get these guys up here. 
Alright, and then these guys get up here. Come on. And then these guys. Uh, just focus on this. You guys focus there. You guys focus there. I know oh, this, one, this one's not gonna win. And, but we have two units. I said run for this guy. We got two units facing down this one. And we got uh, an equal unit facing this one down. I know they have better accuracy. Hopefully we can just have these guys hold off of them enough. We also have the cavalry. So we can... Oh, these guys are already wavering. Alright, come on. Break, break, break. Break! Yes! Okay. I know that's only temporary, but that free two units up. Bring them up on the flank here. And cavalry. Come in. Prepare for a charge. Actually. Not yet. Oh, wait. Actually, they're focused on, on these guys, so. Or at least you can focus on the cannons, and then I guess these guys, you can focus on the firearms. Or fire locks, locks, my apologies. And then these guys are moving around, which is great. Alright, so that one's shattered. Oh, cavalry coming. Oh. And where's the other one? Where's the other one? There it is. Alright, so the natives are gone. That's great. These guys, quickly, you've about face, please. I don't, don't know how long to keep cavalry in fights for. Because cavalry usually should be used in like the harassment runs. Oh, there we go. That helps. Thanks, dude. Okay, now they're again against infantry. So now we definitely want to pull them back. Because infantry against cavalry usually does not work. Unless they're routing like these guys. Alrighty. Well, actually, no, we don't want to do that. Oh, and there's a unit of fire lock. We'll target that one. Um, stop firing again, except for this one. These guys go around this way. I guess fast forward as well. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't rally. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right now, stop. And we got it. Nice. The artillery definitely helped us out there. Lost only 168. That is great. And Georgia is ours. Cutting then. We're going to attempt a breakout. We're gonna we're gonna attack like, the British here and try to win. If we do win, we're evacuating Fallmouth, get up to Fort Nashwak, and then hopefully we can build up a force there to basically counterattack. And they're actually pretty well depleted. If they don't have too many, they only have four full ranges of rangers, ranges of rangers, great English there. But their cavalry is severely lacking, we outnumber them in that, and we have the better artillery. So, I think, if as long as we got the better terrain, we'll be okay. This is the worst terrain we could have asked for. Okay, so I decided to scrap that plan and just auto resolve the battle because I didn't think we had a shot with it and we managed to win that somehow. Not sure how we did, but we fended them off. So we're getting the freak out of here. So while it may be tempting to go back and try to finish them off to save Fallmouth, they already got another big army here anyway. So if we were to try and save Fallmouth, They'll just crush us our army. So for now, we need to just let Fallmouth go. I'm sorry, but we are just currently not equipped to deal with them. We're also going to get a little forces going on here. So that way, once this army is replenished, which should be next turn, we'll start heading up north and see if we can keep the pressure on the south. Oh boy. Britain, you just let us have Charleston. Wait a minute. Well, that's not going to help us. There we go. Ah, there is another their army, but it's just a little set of cannons. That's absolutely worthless to stop us. Okay, so now 
that we did that, we're going to move this little force right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this big force and we're going to split it in two. Because we cannot leave hostile forces in our rear. So what we're going to do is we are going to send the fresh troops here and this one. And we are going to send it after Charleston. We're going to demand surrender. Perfect. Now we don't have to worry about that. Charleston is ours and we freed another province. And then we got this force which we can use to secure our defense to the west. But before we do, let's get more of these. Could we not have to fight uphill for one damn battle? Thankfully, we don't have to. Oh, we just took some damage there. Okay, we might want to go after that artillery right away. Now, I know there's going to be some kind of native guys there ready to ambush us, but at this point, it doesn't matter. We have to take out those cannons before we can do anything else. Otherwise, it's just going to pepper us all day. Now, send this unit out here. Deal with them. We'll have these guys come around from the back in support. If they don't get shot to shit first. There we go. And we got the general. Nice. Thank you very much. Even though he's just a colonel. He really didn't do anything. But hey, we might have, have actually helped even the odds a bit. Which is nice. So now we'll get that one firing on that. And the provincial cavalry is coming at us now. Which is great. These guys just line up behind like this. These actually. No, nope, these guys line up just behind the infantry like this. So that way the infantry can fire into the horsemen. Perfect. All right. So now go ahead and just do that. Oh, are you serious? They he actually just fired into a hillside. But it looks like the British are going to do the same thing. Well, they kind of did. Okay, so it's going to be the battle behind the hill then. It's trench warfare all over again. And we have one Native American Irregular coming at us. That's fine. So these guys uh, wheel around this way. And then these guys go like this. And then the artillery, once, once they're in range, actually, they're in range right now. Go ahead. Yeah, and there's, there's safe. They're not going to get hit. So. So have these guys target the Irregulars. We're probably not going to hit that many. Oh, we just took one already. Open fire, please. Thank you very much. That was a nice set of fire, too. Okay, cannon, stop firing. They're gone. Have these guys run them down. And then we got it. All right, could have done better with the cavalry, but we still barely lost over 100, so. They are outside of our land. The west is secure, the south is secure, and Charleston is ours. So that's gonna be everything for this episode on the revolution. We are carving up the south, and the North gets to fight for another day. When we come back, we're going to keep going up north from the south. And hopefully we might even be able to take Fallmouth back if they take it over. Or we might be able to save it from being taken. Who knows? But until then, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all so, always so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. But until next time, see you later. Are you trying to traumatize this kid? What kind of parents would allow their baby to dress as a chicken with a chest burster coming out? It's as if they are trying to get this kid to have nightmares well into their 30s. Look at the kid's eyes. He's not happy with this costume. He's freaking petrified. I honestly...